。我喺呢度睇场，厕所已经够污糟啦，唔好整污糟嘅啦。Welcome to In Defense of Making the Case for Overlooked, Forgotten or Derided Movies in Five Minutes or Less. Don't have five minutes? Here's five seconds. Today, In Defense of Full Contact, a 1992 Hong Kong crime movie starring Chow Yun Fat that is a little different from other Hong Kong crime movies starring Chow Yun Fat. Bangkok bouncer Go Fei has debts. His solution: join a gang of bank robbers with best friend Sam Say. But things turn sour when Judge, the gang's psychopathic leader, cripples Go Fei's hand and demands Sam Say kill him. Left for dead, Go Fei survives, recuperates, and learns to shoot with his healthy hand. When he returns to Bangkok for revenge, he finds Judge's gang running the city and his girlfriend now with Sam Say. Heroic bloodshed. That's the term given to a group of Hong Kong action movies released mainly in the late 80s and early 90s, usually concerning honor, loyalty, and brotherhood. That and extraordinarily cinematic, choreographed action scenes. I'd argue the two best known are The Killer and Hard Boiled, both directed by John Woo, both starring Chow Yun Fat. Full Contact was made the same year as Hard Boiled and directed by Ringo Lam, who, like John Woo, is a Hong Kong director who would give Hollywood a go via Jean Claude Van Damme. Full Contact is nowhere near as well known as these defining movies. And I think I know why. Full Contact feels like an exploitation film, and I mean that in a good way. It's different. There's a dash of stylish action, including this early use of bullet time, and the loyalty themes are addressed, but they're not the film's focus. Full Contact opens with a bloody massacre in which multiple innocents are cruelly slaughtered purely for sadistic glee. This exploitative streak extends to our lead. Typically around this time, Chow Yun Fat played tough but lovable cops or honourable gangsters. His arc here is guided by noble intent. He wants to pay off debts incurred by his mother's funeral, but he doesn't. Shy away from slaughtering innocents like the bad guys. It is a bit odd seeing him like this when he made his name playing characters who sing to babies during gunfights or risk their lives to save children. Odd, but interesting, and it helps Full Contact stand out from the heroic bloodshed pack. Simon Yam, on the other hand, almost always plays nutters, and here he plays a nutter. The remorseless judge's rise to power is entirely believable thanks to the sheer sociopathic confidence that Yam exudes. Anthony Wong is versatile and has played all sorts, appearing in controversial B movies as well as globally acclaimed classics. He's the perfect choice for the conflicted Sam Say, a complex character who has to betray a hero and turn to the dark side while still being empathetic. Wong nails it, feeling like a little boy lost more than the murderous monster he becomes. Full Contact is shot in Bangkok, but it has the same effortless, gorgeous neon. Bathed night you'd expect from a Hong Kong movie of this time. The scene where Go Fei returns to see his girlfriend for the first time is absolutely stunning, and it really sticks in my mind. When I went to rewatch the movie for this review, this was the part I was looking forward to. In the second part of the film, the action and exploitation elements of Full Contact virtually disappear, and we shift gears into a drama. I'd argue that this shift is the reason that Full Contact hasn't picked up steam as a real cult classic. The setup for the revenge is way more engaging than the actual revenge itself. The movie is building up to a pivotal moment where Go Fei stuns the man who ordered him killed. A revelation that will turn the tables on our all-powerful antagonist and give our hero the upper hand. Oh, he's just turned up, and now they're having a chat. Anticlimactic, to say the least. Oh, and are you a woman in this film? Sorry, ladies. Guess they used all the progressive goodwill on the gay villain. You're either an accessory to be passed between the main characters and occasionally dance, or a comical nymphomaniac. Hard Boiled and The Killer, as if you couldn't guess. These are the must-sees in the heroic bloodshed oeuvre, and they give some context to the what's and why's of Full Contact. The Killer, in particular, is my favourite foreign film ever. And features probably my favourite shot of all time. I'd also recommend City on Fire, an earlier Ringo Lam Chow Yun Fat actioner that's most famous for inspiring the plot of Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> There are two plots that countless movies use, and I am a complete sucker for. The first is a character returning home to find it or themselves changed, and the second is revenge. Full Contact combines both, wonderfully delivered by a trio of recognisable Hong Kong faces, with Chow Yun Fat in particular trying something new. Retaining the balletic action and gorgeous scenery of contemporary Hong Kong output, Full Contact discards much of the emotional weight typical of its genre and replaces it with exploitation brutality.
I was going to talk about the enormous influence of heroic bloodshed on Hollywood action movies here, but there are more pressing matters. In 1999, Full Contact director Ringo Lam produced this. Look at it. It's disgusting. Dennis Rodman and Dane Cook in the same film. Box Office Poison.